I think, does Danielle know she's muted? She's Quite not muted. <laughs> Can't hear you, Danielle. Oh my goodness. There you go. <laughs> yeah. There you are. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yes. 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 Good. Can you hear me now? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Oh, You're finally. Good. I thought maybe no one was answering me before um, <laughs> the meeting started, but I had been talking a few times. So sorry for the delay. Hi there, I'm Danielle Klingerman, the Assistant Superintendent. Um, I was honored to be asked to attend as a panelist tonight to your, on your virtual music awards night. Um, I just want to say I'm a huge fan of the Duxbury Music Program. I've worked in several school districts across the state, and I can tell you that the Duxbury Music Department is unmatched. I'm always amazed to see how many of our students participate in the music program, and I'm always impressed with the variety of students with different interests that come together to be part of the music program. And some of our Duxbury music students have shared with me that they work as hard in music as they do in even their most challenging courses, so it speaks to how much music means to them. Also, I want to recognize students that the Duxbury Music Department staff um, are simply the best of the best. Um, I hope you realize what an amazing team of teachers that you have that work hard for you every day to make sure you're learning and improving. And so be sure to thank them with your continued hard work and practice. And during this difficult time that we're currently experiencing, I think music and the arts are more important than ever since they are the things that make us happy and provide hope for better days. So thank you. Duxbury Music students for bringing us joy both in person when we're together at school as well as remotely during a time when we really need a smile. So thank you for letting me sit on the panel tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so without any further ado, let's kick off the actual music awards. Uh, <clears throat> so for those of you who've been here before, well, not here, but at the actual awards. <laughs> we like to kick off the awards with some music. And uh, usually we do a combined you know, performance by all the, all the, all the groups. Uh, of course, tonight we can't do that, but we still want to play some music for you guys. So we're going to start off, uh, before we get into the awards, with a, a combined group. I guess for the first time ever, we can actually have a combined jazz band. So uh, the jazz bands from the middle school and the high school all got together and they submitted videos. Uh, to do a virtual jazz band, and we just finished putting that piece together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen with you all, and we're going to play uh, the world premiere of the Duxbury High School, uh, Middle High School Virtual Jazz Band. So here we go. Bear with me for a moment. Uh, Mr. Donovan, can you turn on the screen sharing, please? There we go. Here we go.
For our jazz performers in the audience, thank you guys. That was great. You guys did a good job for my jazz band. I hope you're out there watching that. I'll post that up soon so you guys can see it. Uh, see it at home. Uh, so with that, with that, we defer into the awards. So I'm going to start by giving out the uh, some, some jazz band awards. Uh, so the first music award we have to go out tonight is for the jazz band, the high school jazz band, and it's the Rookie of the Year award. And the Rookie of the Year award goes out to a great player who came in strong this year and, and laid it down. Sierra did a great job. So the rookie of the year for jazz band is Will Laferve. So good job, Will. Thank you very much. I should note uh, all the winners tonight. Uh, you'll be getting an email from us with a certificate uh, about your, uh, your award. And then you can expect your actual trophy to come in in the mail in about maybe two to three weeks. Okay. Uh, so moving along, our next award goes to the uh, uh, still in the jazz band, the jazz band MVP. Uh, the Jazz Band MVP has gone to a, a great kid, a strong player who has been there for the entire time and has led the group strong and uh, always, always fun to have around. And I love his playing and he's been great uh, all the time. And so MVP for Jazz Band goes to Cam Penn. So good job, Cam. I had a lot of fun working with the Jazz Ensemble again this year, two years after I retired. Great group. It's wonderful to work with 20 of the best musicians. I'm giving the first award as a Rookie of the Year, 100% attendance for this, this guy. Always there, always works hard. Rookie of the Year, Augustus Sinuda. Excellent. Uh, this musician that I'm giving the next award to has come a long, long way. He had big shoes to fill. He did a great job at the drum set, DHS Jazz Ensemble. Most valuable player, Liam Dillon. What a great job, Liam. And on the Louis Armstrong Award, where your name is added every single year, we add the next name. This is interesting this year. It goes to another string player. Wow. <laughs> the Louis Armstrong Award goes to the highest achieving jazz musician across the country. This year is recipient, re reliable, hardworking, holds a jazz band together, gives 100% all the time, brings like two of the largest instruments with him every week. <laughs> Louis Armstrong Award. Henry Figler. Thank you. So moving on to the, the bands now, we're gonna start with the concert band, uh, or start with the rookies of the year in the bands. So uh, this year, the concert band has two rookies of the year. Uh, this was their first year in concert band and they, uh, they played so well and this is a great job, these, these guys. And uh, every class they would come in, they would get to play in, they would just had the great, the, the best attitude about rehearsing. They had the best uh, performance practice. They did a great job every day. They just got them to work and play their parts well. So the concert band Rookies of the Year goes to Bridget Carney and Lillian the Goldrich. Okay, uh, moving on. Um, these three rookies in symphonic band were very quiet student musicians. Um, but all three worked really hard with their playing on a consistent basis, had outstanding auditions this past couple weeks for next year's bands. All three of them will play in wind ensemble next year. The symphonic band rookies of the year are Liam Higgins on bass clarinet, Sarah Blake on clarinet, and Jenna Murphy on flute. Congratulations. 
Up next, we have the Rookies of the Year for uh, Wind Ensemble. We have two Rookies of the Year and Wind Ensemble this year. It's never easy to jump into a group of this caliber, uh, regardless of your previous experience. And both these gentlemen were well experienced before coming in. Um, they came in and got straight to work. They've improved greatly over the course of the year and have even beat out some upperclassmen to earn their seats in their sections. I can't wait to see what they do next year. Our Rookies of the Year for Wind Ensemble are Nolan Rule and Lucas Farhat. Moving along to the most improved players across the band, starting with the concert band. Uh, it's not easy to find the most, oh sorry, it is easy to find the most improved player. It's easy to figure out who they are. And it's because they're always the ones playing and this concert band student is no different. Every class she's in her seat, the first person in her seat, she's the first person playing. She's always working through her parts before the band begins. She's always playing constantly and that's how she improves. It's pretty easy. Concert band most improved goes to Olivia Stock. Up next, we have two winners for the Symphonic Band Most Approved Award. Uh, both these guys were already fairly strong players. They had good freshman years last year, but they put in a ton of work on their instruments this year and reached that next echelon. And they became leaders in their sections, more importantly. They're awesome guys. Uh, our two most improved award winners for Symphonic Band are Cam Barbaria and Nick Savage. All right, moving along. Um... This most improved player from Wind Ensemble has come a long way, and I mean a long way since she was in sixth grade. Um, she's transformed from a shy and nervous player to a confident senior who also does some impressive percussion teaching every morning in the band room. And I'm really gonna miss this student a lot. The most improved Wind Ensemble um, player is Sydney Eisner. Um, this next Outstanding Contribution Award um, is a woodwind player who stepped up to whatever challenge we gave her this year. Um, she plays solos with confidence and piccolo with confidence, and she always had a positive attitude and smile on her face. It was wonderful to see her every day. The Outstanding Contribution and Symphonic Fan goes to Maya Cousin. Uh, so as we band directors pick music for any group we work with, we're always considering the players in our uh, ensembles that we can, you know, program to our strengths. Uh, these two individuals are people who we could always count on in the wind ensemble. Um, they just consistently worked hard and they would eat up everything we threw at them. They played some really difficult solos this year, including some that they prepped so hard but didn't get to play yet. <laughs> uh, but there are two people we just, we couldn't do what we do without them. Uh, they are Bridget Curran and Charles Mealy. Um, this Outstanding Leadership and Teaching Award goes to a wonderful student who's been an officer and a role model through her actions every day. Um, she leads by example and does a wonderful job teaching her private lesson students. This Outstanding Leadership and Teaching Award goes to Rebecca DeVerglio. Um, both of these outstanding seniors um, will be successful in life. This is an Outstanding Dedication and Perseverance Award. Um, they both know the meaning of hard work and, I can, and effort. I can honestly say this, I've watched them since they were in sixth grade. Um, they both struggled at different points in their musical careers, but they never gave up. Um, one, from, one from a major struggle with braces and the other making a tough switch um, from concert band saxophone to clarinet. And they, because of their hard work, they both eventually landed in wind ensemble because of their hard, hard work and effort. These two awards go to Megan Keller and Rose O'Connor. Next, we have uh, two Outstanding Musician Awards to award. Uh, as I mentioned previously, we as band directors are always cognizant of, you know, where our strengths lie in our, in our groups. And these two musicians were people who just brought their A game day in and day out. They're people we always could rely on. They already had strong, you know, musicianship backgrounds and everything, but they just brought it to another level this year. And we want to honor them for that. The two recipients of the Outstanding Musician Award in the DHS Wind Ensemble are Ella McKenzie and Cassie Weldon. Up next are the VIPs for the groups, for the bands. So starting off with the concert band MVP. The MVP this year climbed his way to the top of the biggest section in the concert band, and he held it strong all year. He led that section through some difficult music while taking on his own challenges in that first year part. And uh, not only is he a great player in the, in the concert band, he also plays in jazz band, and he's a great composer as well. Concert band MVP is Noah Hornecker. 
Up next, we have the MVP for Win Ensemble, uh, the MVP for, or sorry, for Symphonic Band. <laughs> the MVP for Symphonic Band this year is a model musician and student at every rehearsal, emphasis on every. She's someone we can always rely on for difficult solos, hard first chair parts, and just to be an all around great student every single day. She sets the example for everyone else in her section and the entire band with her awesome work ethic, playing, and great attitude. The MVP for Symphonic Band this year is Jess Queso. Yeah, she was also awesome in the musical as well. <laughs> um, the Wind Ensemble MVP, well, who else could possibly win the award of MVP in Wind Ensemble this year? Um, she's proud of the fact that she lives for music. She logged her practice hours for her Allstate audition. She picked half of the Wind Ensemble music for this year over the summer through emails with me. Uh, she sold her solo and dance on and dreams of playing with Blue Shade solo next year. Uh, but honestly, she works really, really hard at her playing. She made off this year. It really paid off. It was her goal, and she achieved it. The Wind Ensemble MVP is Izzy Tobin. Yeah. Clarinet. Yeah. Uh, the next award is an apartment award, and the recipient of this award will have their name listed on a plaque in the band room. Uh, the Paul Fortini Award is awarded to a student who is kind and friendly to all students and is actually involved with music and drama, but is not majoring in either of those fields. I have known the students since they were in middle school, as they have always expressed a strong interest in singing. However, singing was not her only interest, as she is also a strong violinist and an active member of Thespian Troupe 355. She has participated in numerous musicals and plays, and also has been a member of the String Ensemble and Chamber Singers in Here Comes Trouble. Above all, she is someone who displays kindness to all, and she interacts with, and her presence just lights up a room. I will miss her and our musical greetings in the hallway, but know that she will have great success as she studies government in Spanish. This year's Paul Fortini Award goes to Bernadette Farmer. Um, next we have the section awards for the bands. Uh, these are the, uh, this award goes to the, the top section in every group. These, uh, every member of the group will receive uh, an email certificate uh, for their membership in the group, and the name of the group will be placed on a perpetual plaque in uh, the band room. So uh, for concert band, section of the year, uh, you know, a lot of sections say that they're going to be section of the year when the year begins, but only a few of them actually do it. And, and you get there not by, by saying it, but by doing it. And the concert band uh, section has always come in. They always sit. They do their work. They don't brag about it. They don't say anything about it. They just sit and they work hard and they kill it every time. So that's why the altos get this year's concert band section of the year. <laughs> yeah, I'll echo Mr. Pindaco's sentiment for the symphonic band section of the year. Uh, they're not a group of guys who come in asking for the award every day. They show up every day, they throw down, and they stay humble. All right, we could always rely on these gentlemen to just bring their A game and to be a great foundation for the whole band to play on. The symphonic band section of the year for this year is the tubas. Yeah. Um, for Wind Ensemble section of the year, it was a tough decision. We tossed it back and forth a lot of different sections. Um, but this section had to really step up and do more than they usually would this year. Um, they, they were a small size group, um, but they were all really, really, really strong players. And they really worked together to cover all the parts that only four people was almost impossible to cover. Um, so this year's uh, section of the year for Wind Ensemble is the percussion section, Liam Dillon. Fern Fernroar, Kathy Weldon, and Sydney Eisner. Congratulations. So up next, we have the first of our three big awards that um, also go on a plaque in the band room. Uh, the first up is the Director's Award. Each of the Director's Award goes to a student who has shown outstanding achievement and leadership in their high school band. The recipient's name goes on a perpetual plaque hung in the band room. So we talk about practicing a lot as music teachers. We strive to impress upon all of our students that if you put in the right work, you will see results and that anybody can grow to be a great musician. This student really showcased his principal this year. He was already a standout player, not just here at our school, but by making senior districts and all states. And this year, he additionally took an independent study with Ms. Nornberg and I to hone his craft even more. So on top of all the practicing he was doing at home, all the playing he was doing outside of school and inside of school, he was spending a whole block almost every day honing his craft to the highest level. Again, he was already good, <laughs> but he got even better. And he was a wonderful model for us to be able to point to and say, hey, if you want to be good at your instrument, 
Go be like him. Look how he's modeling his practice sessions. Look how he's working through everything. Uh, and we're happy to say that his hard work has paid off. He's made it into his top choice music school, Ithaca College, which is an awesome school of music. And he's going there on a scholarship for his playing, which he worked incredibly hard for this year. Sam, we're really going to miss you as part of our ensemble next year. The director's award this year goes to Sam Short. Yeah, and I can remember Sam in sixth grade when he first switched to bassoon and he was wearing like his Led Zeppelin t-shirt or whatever. And I thought, well, this kid's going to be a good player. So um, congrats, Sam. Um, the next, this next award, the Rick Madra Award, was created by student officers three years ago. With, uh, for a time in a Rick Madra after 35 years of being department head right there. Oh, yeah. The band officers wanted the criteria for this award to be a student who is hardworking, um, cares about other bandmates, leads their section, and is a role model for others. This year's recipient is totally all of that. A quiet and unassuming leader. Um, she's reliable and always can be counted on. She treats everyone with respect and with care. She's always willing to step and do whatever needs to be done. Um, she works hard at her musicianship and she will be missed next year. Um, this Rick Mandrew Award and the Perpetual Plaque in the Band Room is awarded to Julia Thomas. Yeah, Julia. Yeah. Um, this last award is the John Phillips Hughes Award and it's awarded to the highest achieving band student in every band room across the country. So every band room has this plaque. Um, and the recipient's name goes on the plaque and this year's musician is very special. I'm most proud of how far she's come as a musician and a leader. Um, hard work defines her. She always has a smile on her face and she's always willing to help and encourage other fellow section members and bandmates. She leads by example and is always positive. She committed to the cast of Les Mis this year, and although she didn't get a lead, she stayed the course and did not quit. This is an example of her strong level of commitment and her strong character. I know how much music means to her and how difficult it was <laughs> to be a senior going on in music and have the school closure right before Jordan Hall. <clears throat> I'm holding it together. <laughs> to not even know it was your last band class had to be hard. I know she will um, use this crazy end of her senior year to lift herself up and be passionate music educator. Uh, this is Susan Ward goes to Allison Burns. Yeah. And that is the end of the band award. Good job to all the band players this year, to all of our performers in band. We miss you guys. Wish we could have a rehearsal again just for one more day, but hopefully next year. Good job, guys. Great job for all of you. And now we're going to go over to Mr. Judge. Do you have the performance show? I do. Do it now. OK. I'm going to start off the choral awards with some choral music. So go back to my screen share for a second. Bear with me here. And here's from the fall choral concert of this year.
So congratulations to all of you. Uh, you all had a fantastic year, and even though, as Vince Radonko said, I wish we could all have one day more. Leave it to Rob, pun intended. <laughs> uh, it, it, we had some great, wonderful, many musical memories made this year, and bravo to all of you. All right, so getting into the Concert Choir Awards. Um, this year, we had two returning singers in Concert Choir that always managed to keep our rehearsals on track, even on our silliest of days. They are both rocks in their section, and their great effort allowed our group to sing some difficult rep this year. This year's Outstanding Contribution Award goes to Aidan Bennett and Tyler Trevison. Um, whenever Mr. Judge and I are having an off day or a time when we might be down, we know we can always look to this student to bring our spirits right up. Her work ethic shines bright in each rehearsal, always ready to get down to business, and has her pencil ready to mark her music. The alto section is lucky to have had her as a section leader this past year. This year's Outstanding Leadership Award for Concert Choir goes to Kate Brooks. Uh, next up, we have Most Improved. Um, this next student has had great success over the past year with her musicianship. Although it's only her second year in concert choir, she's gone above and beyond with her contribution and is never afraid to sing out. We are so proud of how much she has grown as a singer this year. The Concert Choir's Most Improved Award goes to Daniela Cauley. Over the past four years, there has been one consistent person that has always gone above and beyond in our rehearsals and as a member of our group. He shows up every day ready to work and has been a leader to everyone. It's been amazing to see how much he's grown as a singer throughout high school and we are so proud of all he's accomplished. From the bass section and concert choir to being a member of the musicals to singing with Pac-Man, we sure are going to miss him next year. This year's outstanding dedication and achievement in concert choir goes to Tim Gant. All right, and last up, this next award is always the most difficult for me and Mr. Judge, and it proved no different this year. Um, for concert choir, I think we can all agree that we've grown more as an ensemble, both musically and professionally, than any of us ever thought possible at the beginning of the year. Um, looking back, this section was the most consistent with remembering their music, being on task, singing out, and providing high amounts of effort to our rehearsals. This year's concert choir section of the year goes to the Sopranos. Uh, now we move on to the awards for chorale. All students in Crowell experienced their first year in this ensemble, and this student was uh, one of the few freshmen in the ensemble. They become a dedicated member of the ensemble, always trying their best and walking to the course from each day with a positive attitude. They were the first person to suggest that we have a Crowell Zoom so that we could all stay connected during the closure. She's also an active member of Here Comes Trouble. This year's Crowell Work of the Year is Natalie Eisner. These next two students have been dedicated in their section, always looking up, always putting forth their best effort. Their contributions have enriched the alto section of Crowell, and I'm very proud of their work. This year's outstanding contribution awards for Crowell go to Brady Markella and McKenna Murphy. One veteran member of the choral department has played strong leadership skills in Crowell. She is friendly to all and leads an effective and efficient sectional rehearsal. She leads by example and with humor. This year's Corral Singing Leadership Award goes to Serena Jones. While all sections in Corral are strong, dedicated, and focused, uh, however, there's one section that stood out to me simply by how quickly they were able to apply feedback, whether it was an instruction about diction, phrasing, dynamics, vowels, and so forth, and I'm sure you all miss me mentioning diction every day. Um, their, their response was almost immediate. It takes every member of a section to make something like this happen. In addition, they had one of the most complicated parts being the inner voice. This year, Corral's section, section of the year, which will go on the plaque along with all the sections of the year in the chorus room, are the Soprano Twos. The next three awards are to recognize Rookie of the Years in Chamber Singer, who have three very different stories. Our first Rookie of the Year is a freshman who works very hard to hone her musical and singing skills and is very dedicated. She was accepted into the Southeastern Massachusetts Senior District Treble Chorus as a freshman and also stepped up into a principal role into this year's musical. I look forward to her continued growth and leadership over the next three years. This first Rookie of the Year award goes to Bella Letourney.
For the second rookie of the year, it is her first year in chamber singers, but not her first in chorus. Over the past year, she has become more actively involved in the music program, joining the ensemble for the musical this year, as well as displaying leadership skills in Here Comes Treble. She is constantly working to improve and has made great contribution to all three groups. This award goes to Hadley Deeren Verga. The last Rookie of the Year award goes to someone who I only worked with in sixth grade general music and music and movies their sophomore year, but joined for their joined course for their final year of high school. He met with me last spring to discuss chamber singers and the audition process and worked hard to prepare the audition. Over the summer, he took voice lessons to learn more about singing and music and became fully involved not only in chamber singers, but the entire music department. He has also become an active and dedicated member of Pac-Man and was also in the ensemble for this year's musical. I'll definitely miss having him around next year. This year's final Rookie of the Year award goes to Colin Sislow. This next student has consistently displayed a strong work ethic since I've met them. They are very dedicated to not only chamber singers, but also the musical and is a studio. This year's outstanding leadership award goes to Will Slimbaugh. This next student also consistently displays outstanding leadership skills. In addition to being a student leader of Pac-Man, this student has, has played principal roles in the past two musical, uh, musicals and has also been a member of the Southeastern Massachusetts Senior District Chorus for the past three years. And I can't wait to see what he'll accomplish for his senior year. This year's Outstanding Dedication and Achievement Award goes to Jack Bettencourt. While I have spent four years working as a student on the musical, she has spent the past two serving as the student director. In my experience working with her, she has been extremely organized, creative, positive, and has displayed remarkable leadership skills. I cannot imagine the amount of emails that we've exchanged during the musical rehearsal process. As, and as we spend part of our class time rehearsing the musical as well as many hours in the evening on weekends, her knowledge of theater helped us all. I will great, greatly miss working with her next year, but know she will excel as she pursues her passion for theater and acting. The Outstanding Musical Student Director Award goes to G Julius Lesky. After thinking about how much I'm going to miss them, it is tough for me to speak about these next two students and all they have done. One has involved, been involved in the course program since sixth grade, and the other has been in the program since year in eighth grade. Through the years, it has been a choice to watch their friendship evolve. One year, they were assigned to stand next to each other. And while everyone in the chorus was standing three feet apart, they would always find a way to stand side by side. This never got in the way of their music making. Sometimes got in the way, but as they sang together and uh, not only chamber singers, they were in the musical, they were leaders and here comes trouble, Catherine being the student leader. And this year were officers and section leaders. They have made great contributions to the choral program and I will miss their dedication and musicianship as well as their humor. This year's Outstanding Dedication Awards go to Catherine Alf and Mia Jordan. The next three award recipients will have their name placed on plaques on the chorus room wall for their respective awards. The Don Scabetta Award goes to a student who most embodies the choral spirit, raises the bar, and continues to strive. The recipient should also be one who is friendly to all and shares their love of music. In reading this criteria, there was one student who instantly came to mind. I have known the students in sixth grade, and they've always had a clear love and passion for singing. They would often ask in sixth grade to hang out in the old DMS auditorium during lunch, just so that they could continue to sing with their friends. They have grown not only into an accomplished musician and performer, but a strong section leader and officer. In my career, I have never seen someone rally their section in such a way where there was such a unique sense of camaraderie that they all showed up to the dress rehearsal during the school day in their concert dress, among other spontaneous and surprising events. She has consistently worked hard over the years to expand her musicianship, and as a result, present expressive and moving performances. I will miss her. I will miss her joy, her passion, and her singing in the chorus room in the pack. We can't wait to see she, all that she will accomplish as she studies and pursues a career in musical theater. This year's Don Scabetta Award goes to Shannon McCarthy. The next, award goes, uh, the next award is the Director's Award for Chorus. I first met the student when they auditioned for Chamber Singers when they were in eighth grade. Although they were placed in concert choir for their freshman year, 
They were determined to do the work that was needed to be accepted to chamber singers for their sophomore year so they could achieve their goal of being able to perform at Carnegie Hall. Not only did they achieve this goal, but they surpassed it. They continued to work hard over the years, and this past year she was accepted to the Southeastern Massachusetts Senior District Treble Chorus, achieved a principal role in the musical, which we all found brilliantly done, and performed a feature uh, solo with concert choir at the winter concert. She served as an officer and section leader this year and was always willing to work on behalf of the group. I will really miss her next year, but look forward to seeing all that she can continue to achieve with her hard work and determination. This year's director of work for chorus goes to Christina Cinetti. The American Choral Directors Association National School Choral Award is a award to, to a student who makes significant contributions to the choral program at their school. When I first met this student in sixth grade, it was clear they had great potential. When they were placed in seventh and eighth grade concert course, they reached out to me and sent me an email saying, I think this class is going to be too difficult for me. When I applied, this is definitely within your skill set, and if you work hard enough, there's a possibility you, should, you could be in chamber singers next year. They replied, okay, I'm fine with that, and we'll definitely work towards it. Working hard ever since. They began taking voice lessons at the beginning of freshman year and became more involved in the program as they progressed through high school. As a sophomore, they were important, appointed section leader after their strong re-audition. As he continued to be involved in Pac-Man, he joined the musical junior year and was casting a principal this year. He also sang a featured solo this past December and has been an outstanding officer. While he has had numerous musical accomplishments, it is his grit, strong work ethic, coachability, and positive attitude that has allowed him to grow exponentially. In addition to working hard as a musician, he has always put the group first. I could always count him to whether it's helping moving risers on the pack stage at 7.50 a.m. or coming to school over the summer to assemble music of all the courses with some of his friends. I would often go from advice and always provide feedback from his and his peers' perspectives. He also often visited middle school classes to discuss the benefits of being involved in the music department. He was the only senior that attended the first block uh, rehearsal on the senior skip day, March 13th, so that he would not let his other members of the ensemble down. He is a true team player. I will greatly miss him next year and also miss his perspective, advice, and help. He has truly gone above and beyond to help all students in the choral program, as well as myself, and I could not, could not be more proud of him. I look forward to seeing all he will accomplish as he attends the University of Tampa to study sports management and can't wait to see all he will accomplish musically as he continues to sing. This year's American Choral Directors Association National School Choral Award goes to Jack Duffy. And last but not least, it's the Chamber Singers uh, section of the year. I can honestly say all sections of Chamber Singers have their unique strengths and characteristics. And while as Ms. Rini said earlier that this is a very difficult decision, I cannot deny how consistent the section has been with their musicality, work ethic, and rehearsal etiquette. They are truly a cohesive team. This year's Chamber Singers section of the year goes to the bases. And bravo to all the choral musicians this year. I miss you all, and you, you had a great year. Thanks for everything, guys. We miss you. Oh, I think I'm up, right? My turn. Awesome. Well, it's good to, I will not see you. I wish I could see you. It's good to talk to you, I guess. Um, the orchestra did not have the opportunity to play all together this year. However, I did whip a little something up to show you. So let's see if I can share on my screen. I believe so, right? Yes. Okay, let's see here. All right, let's hope you can hear it.
And we're back. Thank you. Well, everyone, that was great. It was kind of like a little, little highlight reel for us for the uh, from the year. All did wonderful. And I miss not seeing you all tonight and passing out your shirts and sweatshirts. But I am glad that we are here. Um, time to like take um, out of our busy schedules of staring at computers all the time and uh, working on schoolwork and managing all the new things. Um, but it's nice to take time to celebrate the uh, the seven months that we did have together uh, in class, and we're looking forward to uh, what the future might hold for all of us. Um, so I'd like to start the Orchestra Awards tonight with the Rookie of the Year Awards. Being the low man or woman in the hierarchy of high school is definitely not an easy task, and becoming part of an orchestra where some members and sections have known each other for sometimes several years can often be very, very difficult. However, these students met the challenge with great tenacity and success. They have both been absolutely outstanding musicians and demonstrate excellent effort to play their very best every single day. While one student is brand new to the Duxbury schools this year, the other, while not new, showed a great ability to thrive in what was a seemingly new environment. Both have made district orchestras and have been integral parts of their sections. Rookies of the year this year from Chamber Orchestra, Julia Gator, and from String Ensemble, Bradley Harrington. Moving on to Orchestra Most Improved Awards. 
This year, I've chosen four students to receive the orchestra most improved awards. One of the most difficult tasks as a musician is to remain uh, tenacious, show grit, and work through the struggles of learning an instrument to improve our craft. These four students not only demonstrated this tenacity, but also showed great improvement throughout the course of the year. Each student consistently and constantly impressed me with their dedication to their instrument and their ability to improve over the course of the seven months that we had together. The 2020 Most Improved Awards go to Zoe Kane, Sawyer Segal, Avery Horn, and Mills Dennison. Um, next awards that we're going to have are the or Outstanding Orchestra Contributions Awards. The orchestras at Duxbury High School would not have a, the long-standing success they celebrate without the outstanding contributions from its members. These students, each in their own unique way, have made outstanding contributions to their respective orchestra that have gone above and beyond the normal expectations of our class. All of these students have often been among the most consistent in their orchestras, always coming prepared to class and participating at a high level. They have been a steady force for their ensembles, never afraid to speak their minds, give their opinions, or bring new ideas to the conversation. In addition, all of these students have helped improve group morale and the quality of their performances. Outstanding orchestra contributions go to, from Concert Orchestra, Will Annis and Nathan Dan Miller from Chamber Orchestra, Maeve Sheehan, and from String Ensemble, Veronica Savage, Bernadette Farmer, and Abby Chase. Next, we move on to the Outstanding Leadership Awards. Leadership is absolutely critical to the success of any ensemble. Leaders can often dictate the pace and morale of an ensemble of, over the course of an entire year. They also have the power to lay the groundwork of expectations for orchestras of the next year and beyond. The following students have been wonderful musicians and huge assets to the orchestra program. Each student has taken responsibility for the success of their ensembles both on and off of the stage. They're all great musicians and not only leaders within their sections but within the entire orchestra program. I can always look to these students to set a good example for the rest of their class. From Concert Orchestra, it's Willie Tier and Olivia Shortman. From Chamber Orchestra, Luna Porciati and Hadley DeSuda. And from String Ensemble, Hannah Knowlton, Max Harrington, and Lily Watts. Next award is the Outstanding Orchestra Musician and Contributions Award. Every year, there are students that consistently demonstrate outstanding musicianship throughout the year. This year, there are three musicians that have had a huge impact on their ensembles and the orchestra program, and every time they play their instruments, I am impressed with the way that they present themselves and express themselves through their music. This year, the Outstanding Orchestra Musician Awards go to Catherine Cully, Ella Notis, and Mr. Nathan Bing. Before I give my final individual award of the evening, I'm going to do the Outstanding Section Awards. This concert orchestra section uh, has shown great strength over this past year. And while they were small and occasionally needed reminders to come back to the orchestra concert orchestra world, or even reminders to begin playing, they were still incredibly successful, and often when they were playing the absolute most consistent orchestra, I would, can always rely on them to lay the foundation, lay down the beat, and the pitch tone for the entire group. The concert orchestra section of the year goes to the mighty bass players. This chamber orchestra section was also incredibly successful, incredibly consistent, and I would often look to them to set the example for the rest of the orchestra. They were always ready to play and performed among the very, very best. The chamber orchestra section of the year goes to the cellos. Uh, the string ensemble section of the year was quite a difficult choice. 
there were two sections in particular that I felt really stood out and were often uh, competing with each other throughout the year. However, the orchestra, or excuse me, the section that I chose, I felt worked really hard to uh, connect with each other, make improvements over um, the section from previous years, and played some of the most difficult music in the orchestra. And the string ensemble section of the year goes to the first violins. Yay. Ooh, first violins. All right. We move on to our final award of the evening. Uh, actually, from everybody, yeah, I'm last. So the final evening award is the National School Orchestra Award. The National School Orchestra Award is given every year to a student, recognizing them for excellence in performance and their overall contributions to the ensemble. Students are awarded with an individual plaque and their name will be on display in the orchestra room. This person is an incredibly hardworking student and has been an outstanding musician and a leader in the group. She's been a great positive influence on those around her and is a fantastic musician. She's often seen as very quiet. However, she has often has also proved to be quite the leader and sets a great example, not only for her section, but for the entire orchestra. It has been an absolute pleasure to teach her these past seven years. And it is my privilege to give this year's National Orchestra Award to Lauren Marone. I just wanted to echo the sentiment of my fellow uh, music teachers and say how much we do truly, truly miss all of you, we miss seeing all of you. It brings us all great joy when we get your recordings and we get to listen to them. It brings us back to days where we can make music together. Um, and we just hope that you're using your music as a break from everything, normal day life, the craziness of life, you're using it as a way to maybe express yourselves and remind yourselves why we do make music and why we enjoy making music. And while we're not together, you still get to do it um, on your own and you still get to um, be able to have that as part of your life. And so we look forward to being able to see all of you again. And we thank you all for coming. It was absolutely wonderful. We hope you take care. Uh, at this point in the night, thank you guys for, for, for coming down and giving the awards. Um, if there is, uh, we know that sometimes there are students who do wish to speak at these awards, officers. So uh, we're going to attempt a short section of the end here that we can allow some students, officers only, of groups, if they want to say a few words to speak. So if you're an officer and you have something prepared that you want to say, uh, you can raise your hand and um, we'll, uh, we'll, we will, um, uh, we'll, we will turn your mic on and then you can speak and say a few things. So go ahead and raise your hands there. I'll see you. Cam Penn, have his hand up. We'll get your mic turned right. on there. Cam, you should be able to turn your mic on. Mike, can you hear me? Yep. Yes. Oh, hello, okay. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to say thank you all for coming, uh, especially under these unusual circumstances. Um, it's, it's much different from what we've done before. Um, I want to take this time to say I'm really happy to be a part of the Duxbury Music Department. And I want to say thank you for all, to all the music teachers for teaching us all there's to know about music. I remember playing a piece um, in jazz band, Brick House. Uh, freshman year, <laughs> opening at uh, opening in the Bay with Mr. Pinaco conducting the band. Uh, it was one of my favorite moments, um, especially in jazz and uh, in music. Uh, another time, of course, uh, was when we all played at Disney and Universal Studios was a magical trip. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I'll never forget it. I've also really enjoyed playing music with my fellow peers and because of the music department, I'm leaving high school with so many memories of my time here that I feel like a part of this experience is coming along with me. So thank you all so much. Thank you, Cam. Hey, thank you, Cam. We miss thank you, man. You, Cam. Good job in jazz. Thank you. And um, we'll go to, go to Chloe. She's also a concert band officer. 
So there's a little bit of an issue with uh, Chloe's computer. She has the, I guess, an older version of Zoom. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, Chloe. So it's not going to work with Chloe. Sorry, Chloe. We would love to, to, to hear. Um, we'll... um, we can go to Allison Burns then. Okay. Sorry, Chloe. Oh, yeah. Allison Burns also has the older version of Zoom. Oh, oh. No. oh I, I no. can promote uh, them to panelists. So you yeah. want me to yeah. try to do that? Okay. Where's, uh, where did Chloe go? Could, Chloe, can you re-raise your hand? We'll, we'll, we'll promote you and demote you. <laughs> Here we go. All right. So one day contract. Chloe, <laughs> Chloe, you may like feel like you're disappearing from the screen here for a moment. There's Chloe. There's Chloe. Turn your mic on, Chloe. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello. I want to give a thank you to Concert Band. Thank you to Mr. Collins and Mr. Bendaka, our three seniors. I'm sad we couldn't have one last time together, but I'm thankful for what we have. Thank you, Chloe. See you next year. See you next year. Bye, Chloe. All right. All right. So we. we... I'm going to send <laughs> demote Chloe in. Chloe has been moved back. <sighs> Wait, oh, is, is, is Jill here? What I know. Jill? Is Miss Norberg here? Jill, they froze and then they dropped out. So I, they, they must have lost connection. You want to hold on, Allison, until we get Jill back? And... Yeah, uh, she froze. I, set, I see her in the full participants list, but she's not a panelist. So. Okay. I can find her and promote her. Hold on. Oh, there she is. Hey. Okay, I'm here. <laughs> I, I can't get back online on my laptop, but my phone works, so. All right, so we can do Allison. Allison, you should be. There you are. Oh, Zoom is wild on the phone. Hi. <laughs> First of all, I want to say thank you so much for my award. I'm so honored, and I want to let you guys know that Mr. Collins and Ms. Norenberg, um, the off the band or wind ensemble has come together, and we are giving going to be sending you guys some gift to Visa gift cards because we wanted to get you tickets to something, but we didn't want to buy them now because. <laughs> So up in the air so we thought in when the time comes you can use them for whatever you want an event um an item whatever um and then i just had a little speech that i wrote um seven years ago i chose to be in band because that's what both of my brothers did i chose to play the flute because that's what most girls did i never <laughs> thought that these decisions would change my life the Jack's Brain Music Program has given me so many gifts over the past seven years. It has organized performances in world-renowned places like Disney World and Carnegie Hall, where I created some of the best memories of my life. It has given me countless opportunities to improve my skills as a flautist through preparing for and performing in concerts, playing in the pit orchestra for the school musical, soloing, playing in both the middle school and high school symphony orchestras, and so many more. And it's given me the courage to try new things from auditioning for junior and senior districts in all state to playing saxophone and jazz band and singing in chamber singers and the musical. It has given me new friends that have made me look forward to my music classes every day. But best of all, the Doug's Free Music Department has given me my passion for music. If the teachers had not made music so engaging and exciting, I would never have realized my love for it and my desire to continue playing my flute for the rest of my life. They all come into school every day with a smile on their face and eager to help every ensemble reach their full potential. While most teachers leave between three and four, the music teachers often stay late to teach lessons, lead co-curriculars, and to plan ways to make the music program both educational and enjoyable for all students. I am normally a quiet and reserved person, but the music teachers have given me the confidence to break out of my shell and feel that my voice matters. Every time I walk down the music hallway, I feel at home because of the kind greetings I receive from every music teacher. 
I truly have never met a group of people that are more dedicated to their careers and caring about their students. And I aspire to demonstrate as much dedication and compassion when I'm a music educator. Although I'm sad about the abrupt end to my senior year, the cancellation of Jordan Hall and the cancellation of the spring concert. I realize that I'm so lucky that I've been a part of what, in my opinion, is the most amazing pu music program in the country. I truly would not be the person I am today without the Doug's Free Music Department and everyone in it, and I'm forever grateful for all of the gifts it has given me over the past seven years that I will take with me as I move on to the next chapter of my life. Thank you all so much. I tried to hold it. <laughs> it's okay. It's a pandemic. You can cry. <laughs> My mom is here crying too. <laughs> Thank you, Allison. Pretty. What? Thank you. It was awesome. Mr. Pendaco. That was really good. Uh, I guess, uh, uh, Mr. T, these you guys, you, you guys which, who's, who's, um, which one? Uh, Willie's first. Okay. No, Willie. Willie? Yeah. Oh. I need to promote Willie too. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> they are right now. Oh, my oh the talk is <laughs> well you. played. Listen, I had to be professional. It's Music Awards Night. I had to. Come on. Dude, I got the I got the memo too, man. Bow tie. Well done. Abs abs thank you, T. Thank you. I taught you um, well. I'm proud. I'm. I've. I mean, I've learned well. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, so hi everyone. Uh, it's really uh, nice to see you guys all again. Um, I just want to thank you. Uh, I want to thank you, Mr. T, for just making me appreciate music so much more. Uh, it's uh, to start with, from even the most basic level, um, it's fun to listen to a song and just be able to uh, to know the time signature of it, or just note that it's not four four like everything else is. Um, uh, and it's just really nice to have all these connections I've made with people. Uh, shout out to everyone playing bass with me. That's Mills, Nathan, and Joe. Uh, special thanks to Joe for switching into bass with me when I was going to be the last one left. And uh, he just came in and started playing bass with me. Uh, Nathan for making all of us laugh. And then uh, thank you, Mills, for just being the nicest person. Uh, all of you are amazing. Uh, I love you all. Um, and then thank you for the entire music department for doing such good work and inspiring so many people and I appreciate all of you. Uh, and again, thank you for uh, Mr. T for uh, just giving me a friendly reminder when I'm on my computer and not listening, which is quite often um, uh, a little too much, but thank you so much. And uh, thanks to all of you. Well, thank you. Thank you, Will. It's good seeing Bye. you. Bye. Good seeing you as well. Bye. And uh, I guess Jess Murray. Just, just one second. I moved her over. Can you hear me? We can hear you, Jessica. Hi. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to Mr. T and Mr. Schmetter on behalf of Chamber Orchestra. I think that orchestra has always been just like a class you go into and you're like, you know what, this is time to breathe. I was never, never really hit every note in a piece, I don't think, um, <laughs> but it was okay. I didn't need to. I felt comfortable um, to make mistakes and I think that uh, Mr. T and Mr. Schmetter um, create that environment and oh. it's really important um, and has helped me grow. And I think a lot of my um, chair, stand, stand partners, that's the word, stand partners as well. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to thank you. I think the Murray family has been within a orchestra for like at least the past 10 years. So mm -hmm. sad to see us go, sad to see Sad to not see you guys. <laughs> that's, uh, that's the right word. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for all that you've done for us. It means a lot. Thanks, Jess. It was good seeing you. Thank Bye. you. Thank you, Jess. Bye. Take care. Uh, last call for any other officers who want to say a few words before we close out the night.
Not seeing any. Anybody want to make some closing remarks? I just, um, if I can, I just want to again thank all our incredible music staff uh, and the music promoters for all their support. And tonight, um, with the, the t-shirts and sweatshirts and trophies and and all the extras that they're that are going to go out to the kids. Uh, this is an incredible program that we have here. I was so proud to be a part of it as a teacher. Um, and now to be able to continue to watch these musicians and the teachers continue to make just incredible art every day in our building. So uh, we are so fortunate to all of them and for all of your continued hard work. Uh, we're very proud of this program and of you. So thank you very much for everything you do. And thank you, Mr. Donovan. And thank you, Dr. Janucci and Dr. Klingon for coming down tonight. And thank you all for attendees for, for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the music and I hope uh, you, you, you know, enjoyed our little community here. Uh, if you got an award tonight, you should be getting your email soon. And then I said a couple weeks looking in the mail for a box from Crown Award, actual trophy in it coming in a few weeks. So again, thank you very much and have a good night. Hope to see you soon. Good night. Good night, Good night, good night everybody. Bye. Bye. Night. 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 Good job, everybody. Okay. Nobody's leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting me join, everybody. Have a great night. Thanks for coming. Thanks, John. Thank you. Thanks, John. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you, Danielle. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. Sorry about my mic problems. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, Jen and Danielle, for being here. Great. Our pleasure. Thanks for the invite. Good to see you. It's a treat. Thanks. Bye, Rick. Uh, bye. Bye. He says bye. <laughs> Joe, do you want to stick around here until the end, and then I can? I think I, I'm going to save it. Um, can, my hard drive. Can you, you can't send it to me until you stop the actual whole thing, right? I can't. No, and it's got to encode first. All so, right. So just we'll just we'll just we'll just cut it, and then when it's done, if you can email it to me or whatever. All right. Very good, brother. So thank you very much for, for for running this whole thing. That was great. You got it. You got it, it went man. very well. So hopefully you can use this. Yeah, we're gonna do uh, National Honor Society next All week. Right, All right, I'm gonna. Uh, okay, cool. Stop, stop the recording now, and I'll send it to you. All right, great. All right, thank you. Thanks. See you soon.